Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. I pray that, Lord, you use this moment to transform our lives through your word. In Jesus' name. Now, uh, a lot has happened today. And um, I will just add a little onto it. Amen. We thank God for Evangelist Charles. Your inspiration was really inspiring. Amen. Don't you agree with me? Hallelujah. Now, uh, if you are new, I want to tell you that here we are happy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. If you know the kind of wars that we have fought, you will be happy to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Uh, a few years, like about 25 years ago, um, I was just finishing my fifth year uh, during my, de, doing my bachelor's degree. Alors, il terminait son année de, de, de bachelor. And uh, I was recruited to a certain company with a very colorful name. Donc, il a été recruté par une entreprise avec un They were calling nom. themselves um, Institute of Advanced Technology. C'était l'Institut de la Technologie Avancée. And they also gave me a very colorful title. Et on lui a donné aussi un titre coloré. Associate consultant. Consultant associé. You will be surprised what I was going to do. Alors vous serez surpris de ce que je vais faire de ma tâche. I was going to teach computers. Donc j'étais censé enseigner dans l'ordinateur. Not, not so very complicated. Just Microsoft Office. Alors pas que des choses compliquées, le Microsoft. I, I, I don't know why in Africa... You, they like using very big names. Alors, je ne sais pas pourquoi en Afrique vraiment on aime utiliser de grands I, noms. Recently, I saw an advertisement. Récemment, j'ai vu une publicité. Uh, somebody uh, is coming here to Finland. Quelqu'un qui vient en Finlande. And he's calling himself Europe pa uh, pastor for igniting prayer. I don't know, giving himself so much names. Alors, il se donnait lui-même beaucoup de noms. But that is Africa. Mais ça, c'est l'Afrique. Amen. Amen. Now. The program that I was going to have in that institution Alors, le que censé tenir was dans called Earn and Learn program. Un intitulé, so I was going to partner with them. Et gagne, je I faire learned something from them avec eux, because I didn't know eux, anything about computers. Parce que je ne pas tout sur I, I had only heard about these uh, personal computers. Donc j'avais seulement entendu dire de ces ordinateurs personnels. At, at the university we used something called mainframe computer. Some of you at your age you don't know these things. Voilà. Alors d'université on ils utilisaient you ces are, ordinateurs. You are you are recent people. Public. <laughs> okay. So that mainframe computer is a big computer. You only have a terminal. Mm -hmm. Alors cet ordinateur qu'ils utilisaient l'université. So that's what I knew. But in that institution, I was going to learn how to use the personal computer. Learn about Microsoft products. Learn about programming. And then teach it. And during that time, I'm earning. So it was called earn and learn program. So it was a, a kind of a partnership. Un type de partenariat. Say partnership. Dites partenariat. Amen. Amen. And then, uh, as a result of that, uh, I happened to later be employed in an insurance company. Alors, plus tard, il a été employé dans une compagnie d'assurance. And there, I was employed as ICT expert. Alors, il était employé comme un ICT expert. And now, there, I learned something again about partnership. Alors, il a aussi appris quelque chose sur le partenariat. I learned some few jargons in insurance, which... Uh, I had not known. Alors, il y a appris des jargons dans l'assurance qui And uh, I found out that in insurance, there is something called 
reinsurance. Alors, il a appris également que dans l'assurance, il y a quelque chose qu'on appelle réassurance. So, a small insurance company une petite compagnie d'assurance can decide to insure a very uh, expensive entity. Peut euh, être capable d'assurer une entité dix fois plus que. And you start wondering why are they insuring that? Where are they going to get the money in case something happens? Alors, mais tu te demandes, mais comment est-ce qu'ils ils vont être capables d'assurer toute cette grande entreprise au cas then, où quelque chose se passe Then I found out that they partner with some other insurance company Alors, il a découvert qu'ils sont en partenariat that avec has got a bigger capacity. d'autres compagnies d'assurance qui ont une très so grande capacité. They act more like agents. Donc, ils sont un petit peu comme des agents. They take a small portion of the cost. Ils prennent une petite portion du Maybe coût, 10%. And 90% the reinsuring company takes. Et les 90% vont vers la compagnie de réassurance. But during this time they are in partnership. Mais durant ce temps, ils se trouvent en partenariat. Amen. Amen. They are in partnership. Ils sont en partenariat. And there are rules of partnership. Et il y a des lois sur le partenariat. One of the rules of this partnership is that you cannot underwrite a business. Underwrite means you cannot take a business without informing your partner. Amen? You cannot underwrite a business without informing your partner. And you will walk with a partner all the way. You must inform the partner all the time whatsoever you want to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you are asking yourself, Pastor, where are you going with all this? Hallelujah. Now I want to talk a little bit about partnership with God. Donc je vais parler du partenariat avec Dieu. Partnership with God. Partenariat avec Dieu. And please open your Bibles and read let us read the book of Genesis. Lisons dans Genèse. Chapter 12. Chapitre 12. I will read from verse 1 to verse 7. Je lirai à partir du verset 1 jusqu'au verset 7. Genesis Chapter 12. Genèse chapitre 12. Now, this is talking about the call of Abraham. On parle ici de l'appel d'Abraham. And that time he was not called Abraham. Et à ce moment son nom n'était pas Abraham. He was called Abraham. C'était Abraham. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now, That last part is very important. Alors cette dernière partie est très importante. Because it shows that God was not inviting Abraham for his own sake. Parce que ça démontre que le Seigneur n'invitait pas Abraham pour lui-même. God was calling Abraham so that through him other people can be blessed. Dieu appelait Abraham pour que au travers de lui d'autres soient bénis. Okay? In him all the nations of the world will be blessed. En lui toutes les nations du monde seront bénies. And this means that God was asking him. Alors cela veut dire que Dieu lui demandait I want to bless all the nations of the world. Lui disait que je veux bénir toutes les nations du monde. But I need somebody to partner with. Mais j'ai besoin d'entrer en partenariat avec quelqu'un. So that through that person pour qu'au travers de cette personne, I can bless the nations of the world. je puisse bénir les nations de la terre. Amen. Amen. Now, when you are called into the kingdom, donc lorsque tu viens dans le royaume, some people think that God calls you for your own sake. Certains pensent que Dieu t'appelle que pour toi. 
That's why we say it is blessed when you are born again. C'est pour cela que l'on dit que c'est vraiment béni lorsque tu It es means nouveau. Cela veut dire you have been elevated que tu as été élevé to the level of a partner with God. à un niveau d'un partenaire de Dieu. So that through you, de Dieu, certain things can happen. Pour qu'au travers de toi, certaines choses prennent place. Amen. Amen. Through you, principalities can be brought down. Au travers de toi, les principautés puissent être renversées. Through you, nations can know about Jesus Christ. Au travers de toi, les nations connaissent Jésus. Through you, you can bring change in your own family. Pour qu'au travers de toi, le changement prenne place dans ta famille. Hallelujah. Now you know there are things that bind people. Donc vous n'ignorez pas qu'il y a des choses qui lient les gens. Even if they pray. Même s'ils prient non, ils ont beau prier. It cannot change. Ça ne change pas. Amen. Amen. Because you need partnership. Parce qu'on a besoin de partenariat. Now, one time in the book of First King chapter 18. <coughs> Il était une fois dans le livre de 1 roi chapitre 18. Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, 850 of them. Elie qui a dit aux prophètes de Baal, he said something. 850. We want to know which God is God. Il leur a dit aujourd'hui on va connaître quel est le vrai Dieu. Now, I want to go back a little. Mm, donc je vais faire un retour un petit peu. Maybe we can continue next time because it seems I don't have so much time. This you need, you need a time mm. to absorb what I want to talk about. Alors, vous avez besoin de temps pour absorber ce que je suis en train de vous parler. You know, Jesus has been called the servant of God. Jésus est appelé le serviteur de Dieu. In the book of Philippians. Dans le livre de Philippiens. There's a place where Paul is talking about Jesus. Il y a un endroit où l'apôtre Paul nous parle de Jésus. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 8. Alors nous sommes dans Philippiens chapitre 2 verset And he says let this mind which was in the Lord Jesus be in you. Et nous demande d'avoir les mêmes sentiments qui étaient en Jésus-Christ. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal to God. Mm -hmm. Lequel existant en forme de Dieu n'a point regardé comme une proie arrachée d'être égal avec Dieu. Amen. 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 Don't sleep. Ne vous endormez pas. Okay. Amen. I rebuke that spirit of sleep. Je Amen. In Jesus name. Au nom de Jésus. Because I know the enemy doesn't want you to understand this. Parce que je sais que l'ennemi ne veut pas que vous compreniez ceci. Amen. Amen. He humbled himself. Mm. Il s'est humilié lui-même. And became like a servant. Et a pris la forme d'un serviteur. And he humbled himself even unto death. Même jusqu'à la mort sur la croix. Death of the cross. La croix, la mort sur la croix. Amen. Amen. Now, what do we know about servants? Qu'est-ce que nous connaissons sur les serviteurs bien sûr? A servant un serviteur obeys the master obéit à son maître all the time. Chaque fois. Amen. Amen. But the way we understand servant Mais la manière dont nous comprenons le fait d'être serviteur in human terms en termes humains is that you take instructions from the master. C'est que on reçoit les instructions de la part du maître. And then you go and do. Et on va, uh, les right? À exécution. Now, with God, it is not the same. Donc, avec Dieu, ce pas la même chose. You can't take instructions from God. Tu ne peux pas prendre, les and de then Dieu. you go and operate on your own. Et aller par -même. No. no. That's not how God operates. Ce pas comme ça que Dieu agit. To be a servant of God. Pour être un serviteur de Dieu, It means you take instructions. Cela veut dire que tu reçois des instructions. Minute by minute. Minute après minute. Hour by hour. Heure après heure. Every step you take. 
chaque étape que tu must, you must go with God. Tu yes. dois marcher avec Dieu. And so Elijah Alors, Eli has challenged the Baal prophets. Il y a maintenant qui lance un défi aux prophètes de Baal. And if he fails, et s'il échoue, that's the end of him. Ça c'est sa fin. And his God. Et son Dieu. And so he has to go back to God. Donc il doit retourner vers Dieu. And he has to ask God. Il doit demander à Dieu. What do I do? Que dois-je faire? And God tells him. Et le Seigneur lui dit. Go and look for the place where they used to offer sacrifice. Va chercher un endroit où l'on offrait des sacrifices. Then he goes and looks for that place. Et il est allé chercher cet endroit. And he opens it up. Et il réouvre. And he prepares it. Commence à préparer l'endroit. And then he says, now we can compete. Et maintenant il dit alors on peut faire la compétition. Then he tells them, you start. Il leur dit, allez, commencez. Pray to your gods. Priez votre Dieu. Let's see what your gods can do. Et voyons ce que vos dieux peuvent faire. But people don't know. Mais les gens ignoraient. That God had spoken to Eli, uh, Elijah. Que Dieu avait parlé à Elijah. And told Elijah, look. Et lui avait dit. Wait until evening. Attends jusqu'au soir. At the time of offering of sacrifice. Au temps des offrandes de sacrifice. Amen. Amen. That's when you offer the sacrifice. C'est à ce moment que tu offriras le sacrifice. You have to wait for God's instructions. Tu dois attendre aux instructions de Dieu. He had to wait for God's instructions. Il devait attendre l'instruction. He de Dieu. humbled himself. Il s'est humilié lui-même. He did not take off and run. Il n'a pas prié. And go and do what he thinks God has told him. Pour aller faire ce que Dieu lui demandait de faire. He partnered with God. Il a fait partenariat avec Dieu. And The miracles happened. Et le miracle s'est déroulé. Amen. Amen. He partnered with God. Il a fait partenariat avec Dieu. Now, I want to show you a few things. When you want to partner with God, first you must believe. Premièrement, tu dois croire in Him. En lui. Now, God is not some nebulous thing that. Uh, has been created by religion. Dieu n'est pas une chose nébuleuse qui a été créée par la religion. He is a person. C'est une personne. And you must believe wholeheartedly in him. Et vous devez croire en lui avec tout votre cœur. You know, faith when 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 God spoke to to Abraham. Lorsque Dieu a parlé à Abraham, they somewhere Where in Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 where God spoke to Abraham and then God said because you have believed this has been counted as righteousness. Dans Genèse 15 16 Dieu rend témoignage à Abraham de ce que à cause de sa voix il a été tenu pour juste. This scripture has been quoted by Paul in the New Testament, right? L'apôtre About Paul four times. Recité, It was counted as righteousness. Because of his faith. Il a été tenu pour juste à cause de sa voix. Sa And foi. Paul is using it to discount works. Et Paul utilise ça pour découdre avec les œuvres. Amen. Amen. I'm talking because I know there are people who believe in the grace fellowship. Oui, je vous parle de ceci parce qu'il y a des gens qui croient au message de la grâce. Hallelujah. Amen. Grace unmerited favor. La grâce une faveur imméritée. But I want to tell you something. Grace and all those things cannot work if you don't partner with God. Oui, la grâce avec toutes ces autres choses ne peuvent marcher. If you don't pay attention to what God is saying. Entre pas en partenariat avec Dieu si tu ne prêtes pas attention à ce que Dieu dit. So Abraham had faith that is saving. Abraham avait la foi. And this saving faith was both personal. Et cette foi qui dans Christ était à la fois personnelle. Which means Ce qui veut dire, he believed in God. Qu'il a cru en Dieu. In the word of God. Dans la parole de in Dieu. In what God had said. Dans ce que Dieu disait. A hundred percent. À 100%. He didn't have to look for another way. Alors il, ne, il n'a pas dû chercher à Like some people say that I believe in God and traditions. D'autres moyens comme certains disent que je crois en Dieu et en la tradition. He believed in God. Lui il a cru en Dieu. Personal. Personnellement. But the other thing is that he believed in God 
as a propositional Mais, aspect. Uh, il a aussi cru en Dieu comme un aspect propositionnel. If you read that Genesis chapter 15 verse 1. Donc si nous lisons dans Genèse chapitre 15. It says that the word of the Lord came to Abraham. Il est dit que la parole de Dieu est venue à Abraham. So what does the word of God say? Que dit cette parole de Dieu? So in every situation, dans chaque situation, for your faith to be saving, ta foi est dans for your faith to support you, ta foi qui te for your faith to remove you out of trouble, ta foi qui te fera sortir des troubles, you must believe what the word of God says. Tu as besoin d'y ajouter la parole de Dieu. Isaiah asks, whose report shall we believe? Amen. You know, many people give reports. When we were in school, there was something called a report card. The whole time you have been playing around, joking around, then the report card comes. You are number two from bottom. <laughs> Amen. They give that report. Doctors also give report. They can take you to MRI. They can pass some rays through you. And they tell, they look at it and they say, hey, this, this, this organ has got a problem. And then they write down very quickly and say, this is the report. Amen. Amen. But what does the word of God say? Mais que dit la parole de Dieu? So for you to partner with God, pour que tu en you must believe that he is, tu as besoin de croire qu'il est, and two, you must believe his word. Et deuxièmement, tu dois croire en sa parole. Amen? Amen. That's the first thing. C'est ça la première chose. How many believe in the word of God here? Combien croient en la parole de Dieu ici? Some of you don't believe. I don't see you carrying up your hand. Anyway, you will believe. Amen? A time is coming that you're going to believe the word of God. On doit croire en Dieu, le temps vient. So you must believe the word of God. Number one. Premièrement, on doit croire à la parole de Dieu. Program of partnering with God. Uh, concernant le programme d'entrer en partenariat believe. avec Dieu. Croire. Like Abraham believed. Comme Abraham a cru. Believe in God. Croire en Dieu. Whether people want to, you to substitute. Que les gens veulent que tu substitues. Just yes, say no. I believe in my God. Je crois en mon Dieu. I believe that he's living. Je crois qu'il est vivant. I believe that he will do what he said he will do. Je crois qu'il fera ce qu'il dit. I believe that he will not let me down. Et je crois qu'il ne m'abandonnera pas. People will say but you have only one second. Et les gens disent que tu n'as qu'une seconde. No, I still believe is God. Je crois toujours qu'il est Dieu. Amen. And also believe in his word. His promises. What has he promised? How has it how is it going to come to pass? Believe that it will come to pass. Amen. The second thing. Be obedient. Obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. Obedience. You know there is a, a, a certain king called Saul, I always say here. Saul was anointed more than you. Some people think that they're anointed. No. Saul was anointed more than you. But do you know why he failed? Disobedience. Disobedience. Samuel told him, please wait seven days before you go and fight the Amalekites. Wait seven days. I will come and make a sacrifice myself. And Saul saw that people were leaving him. Seven days had passed. Samuel has not shown up. Saul said, what? I'm going to do something. I'm going to do the sacrifice myself. Bring me that sacrifice. I'm going to slaughter it. And as he was sacrificing, Samuel showed up. And said, Why did you do it? Why couldn't you wait? Didn't I tell you to wait? Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us have waiting problem. In fact, the world we are living today has waiting problem. 
le monde dans lequel nous vivons. If I tell you to wait. Si je te dis d'attendre. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know since this mobile phone came. Depuis que les appels les téléphones mobiles. I don't know, you people some of you never communicated with letters. Peut-être que certains d'entre vous n'avez jamais Where you write a letter? Où tu écris une lettre? You put it in the post. Tu vas le poster. And you you you, are, you wait. Et tu attends. Especially if you are dating. Mm, donc, <laughs> so you wait. Si tu en One coup, month has gone. Un mois passe. The the answer is not coming. La réponse ne vient pas. You are just patient. Tu es là patient. You trust the person will reply. Et tu fais confiance que la personne Then one répondre. month and one day the letter comes. Un mois, un jour, la personne répond. Amen. Or you use there used to be uh, this uh, fixed phones you call hello Il y avait aussi ces téléphones fixes and you tell somebody uh, let us meet there tu, on such and such a day Donc tu donnes rendez-vous à quelqu'un en ce You go there matin. in the morning Tu vas là le matin You wait until two o'clock in the day Tu attends jusqu'à 14h That's when the person shows C'est là que la personne Because you can't call the person again Parce que tu la the person doesn't have a mobile phone. You just spoke on a fixed phone. And probably where the person is now, the telephone booth was broken or something happened. But we learned patience. You must trust that what you have been told will come to pass. Tu dois faire confiance en la parole qui t'a été. Amen. Amen. So you must be obedient and you must be patient. Donc tu dois être obéissant et patient. Hallelujah. Amen. Three. Troisièmement. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Allons dans le livre de Jérémie. Jeremiah chapter 18. Nous sommes dans Jérémie chapitre 18. Maybe I'll just mention Jeremiah is talking about a potter. Jérémie nous parle d'un potier. And he says et il dit that a potter decides what the pottery will be. Que c'est le potier qui décide ce que vient, deviendra l'argile. And the potter can try to make something It doesn't look like what it wanted. He le wanted. Peut faire de l'argile He changes veut. it and tries to mold something else. Il change, essaie de modeler et en faire une autre chose. So, for you to partner with God, you must allow yourself to be molded. Alors, pour que tu puisses être partenaire de Dieu, tu dois toi-même te laisser. Allow te yourself to be molded. Être modelé, être façonné. Now you have to give yourself some time. Tu dois t'accorder un Amen. temps. Amen. You know, temps. we live in a doing world. Nous vivons dans un monde de faire. We are doing people. On sommes des gens qui font des choses. They, until they have even coined some words, don't just sit there, do something. Jusqu'à ce qu'on a donné certains adages, ne t'assois pas a là. A doing world. Fais quelque chose. Donc le monde qui est en train But de faire. God is saying, don't just do something. Mais Sit Dieu, there. Mais Dieu ne nous demande pas que de faire des choses. Amen. Wait for me. Attends-toi à moi. Wait for my call. Attends à toi à mon appel. Wait for me to make you. Attends pour que je te façonne. Hallelujah. Now some people want to be on the first lane. Mm, les certains gens veulent être au premier rangé. And you end up in front of the world corrupt because you have not been molded some places are still rugged some things are not working and then you want to say this is what god is presenting for you you are doing it on your own praise the lord wait to be molded let god mold you amen God is saying, Dieu dit, enter a love relationship with me first. Entre dans une relation amoureuse avec moi premièrement. Get to know me. Connais-moi. Adjust your love to me. Apprends à me connaître. Amen. Amen. When God calls you, it means you have to adjust. Alors, lorsque le Seigneur t'appelle, tu dois t'ajuster. Some people want to go the same way. Certains veulent être les mêmes toujours. Mine first, God later. Alors, 
That's why you have people who are skipping service. Because they don't want to adjust their time so that it fits God's time. You want God to come and fit your time. You want to mold God instead of God molding you. He will never use you. Amen? Or you will be longer in the cooking area. You will be <laughs> it will take some time. Let God mold you. Let me go to the last one, then we shall pray. Be sanctified. Amen. Be sanctified. God does not partner with people who are not sanctified. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20 to 21, the Bible says, But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver and also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself of this, hallelujah, if a man therefore sanctifies himself, what will happen? He shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. There's a strange tra translation that I found today. It's, it's called message translation. <laughs> they are saying, in a well-furnished kitchen, <laughs> it's not saying in a large house, in a well-furnished kitchen, but there are some things they are talking about there. I don't trust this, this message because uh, Greek and uh, Amharic, where the Bible was written, now people tend to forget those original ones. So the Bible that was first translated those days uh, is a little bit more accurate. But it says, nevertheless, I will read because it was very interesting. In a well-furnished kitchen, there are not only crystal goblets and silver platters, but waste cans and compost buckets. Some containers used to serve fine meals, others to take out the garbage. Become the kind of container God can use to present any and every kind of gift to his guests for their blessing. Amen? Amen. That first part is good. <laughs> Last part. Amen? But let us rise up. I ran through it because uh, I didn't have so much time. But now our, our program is becoming busier. Mais notre programme devient de plus And en so plus we will occupé. make our program better. Alors on va euh, voilà rendre meilleur notre programme. But I believe Mais all of you que tous you want to be servants of God. Vous voulez être des serviteurs de Dieu. And you want to partner with God. Et vous voulez entrer en partenariat avec Dieu. For his own glory. Pour sa gloire. It is important c'est très important that you observe d'observer that God is a God with meticulous ways of doing things. He's, he's not so confused. Amen? The Bible says he's not an author of confusion. And therefore we should seek him and find out what God wants. You know, Jesus spoke to his disciples in the book of uh, John chapter 15. Dans Jean 15 Jésus and he talked about the vine and the branches. De la, de, 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 But in de, verse 5 he says, without me you can do nothing. Which means in every step you must be with him. Ce qui veut dire étape, on doit être avec Hallelujah. Lui. You must partner with him. On doit When you are doing something, you must do it with him. Hallelujah. We must partner with God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you have called us even to do thy work. And in this call, Lord, you want to partner with us.
And I thank you for each and everyone who has accepted you, who has believed in you. I pray that, Lord, even as they continue to serve you, they shall be sanctified and be made ready to serve you in the right way. Thank you, Lord, because we are going to be obedient to your word. We are going to be obedient to you. We shall listen, Lord, so that your name can be glorified. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everybody say amen.